name's Savannah and you're watching The School Gin Show. Today we're at the Auckland Zoo and we're about to meet a real life Tuatara. Just like some schools and homes have solar panels to generate energy, Tuataras also use the sun to give them energy. We'll find out more from their keeper. These are my friends, Finlay, Kaya and Gemma. We all have some questions for the Ecotherm Keeper about the Tuatara. Shall we go and meet the Tuatara? Yes, yes let's, let's do it! it. Hello. Thanks for meeting us today and being on our show. No worries. My name is Emily. I'm a keeper here at Auckland Zoo and this here is Tapua. So she's a girl to Atara and she's actually about 24 years old now. She should live around 100 years. So I hear you guys have some questions for me today about Tuatara. What would you like to know? Yeah, I do. Why is the sun so important for the Tuatara? So the sun's really important for all cold-blooded animals. The Tuatara actually need the sun in order to get energy. So you can think of them as kind of being solar powered. When it's cold, they don't have any energy from their food. They can't move very fast and they're quite sluggish. But when it's nice and hot and they've been sitting out in the sun, they can run really fast and hunt really fast. What do Tuatara do in winter when the sun isn't out as much? The sun isn't out as much in winter. What they can do is hide away in their burrows. So these are actually burrowing animals. They dig a really deep burrow down into the ground and down in the bottom of their burrow they won't feel the cold rain or any snow or wind as much so they can just stay there and wait for it to get warm again. They can also slow their whole system down a little bit like a bear when it's hibernating. So then they don't need to use very much energy at all. And when they're really cold, they only need to breathe about once an hour. What does the third eye do? What does the third eye do? That's something we're still trying to understand. They can't see through it as well as the eyes on either side of their head. It is actually covered by scales once they get older, but it's a little transparent patch when they first hatch. We think it helps look at UV levels. They need enough UV to get vitamin D, which just like us, to stay nice and healthy the length of day, which can tell them what time of year it is and how the seasons are going. It's also really interesting that they've got one because there's a really basic third eye in lizards. That tells us that it's probably something that the ancestors of all reptiles had. Is it true that the temperature can decide whether the tuatara has girl or boy babies? Yes, it can. If the nest is a little bit hotter, then all of the babies will be boys. And if it's colder, all the babies will be girls. So where the tuatara digs her nest, whether it's out and hot in the sun, or if it's a little bit colder under a tree, will affect what sex her babies are. Is it true the sun helps tuatara process their food? Yeah, that's right. So they have enzymes in their stomach that break down the food, just like we do. And when they're too cold, they don't actually work as well. So their whole system slows down when they're cold, and that includes their stomach and their gut. So they need to be hot enough that they can digest their food, and they'll do that by sitting out in the sun to get nice and warm. That's awesome! Is there anything else interesting about the tuatara we should know? Yeah, well tuatara are a really special animal. When you first look at them you might think that they're a lizard, but they're actually something completely different. They're part of a group of animals that mostly died out around the time of the dinosaurs. So they're really interesting for scientists to study, to understand ancient reptiles. It's also really important that we protect them in New Zealand because they don't get on very well with rats, so they can only live on offshore islands where their babies are safe. So if we protect them enough, we could have them all throughout New Zealand again. Thanks to you and the Tuatara for being in our show today. No worries, thank you. Thanks for joining us in the School June Show. You should check out our cool Tuatara resources for teachers at www.schoolgen.co.nz. Thanks for watching.